Hey guys, we're back with Amnesia, Emma's story. We just got out of the prison and now we are in the laboratory. So let's see what my dad was up to down here. That's a huge painting. What are you? It's a very weird looking mountain. Machine room. All right, let's see what's down here. Got lots of tools. Some creepy music. Probably gonna have a puzzle down here. I would guess. Okay. Can't open this. Look at this mallet. Got blood on it. Guess I'm going to. That looks fine. I changed my mind. I don't want to go down here. A long tunnel. Is it still part of the machine room? This is it. Hmm. Just make a mess. Supposed to. So that's not helpful. Let's I use this bucket. But I don't think I can. So I'm gonna go upstairs. <gasps> ah, nice. Who did that? I told you to throw them bodies in the dumpster. Not on me. Although I do look like a dumpster, so I can see the misconception. Alright. Oh look, a puzzle. What do we got? No. No. Looks like I'll need the three rods to get the elevator working. What elevator? Alright, let's find these rods. Oh, here's the elevator, guys. Right here by the fountain. Let's go search for these rods. Robert's personal diary, entry one. Experiments on specimens continue to yield promising results. I hope these test subjects know how much good they are doing for the entire human race. Sometimes a few must suffer to benefit the masses. But the most exciting pieces of news yet is what a trusted colleague has revealed to me. The orb of power, once thought a hoax, has been proven to actually exist. I can barely contain my excitement as I write this. As soon as possible, I shall assemble a small team to attempt to retrieve the object. If it is true what they say about it, it should bestow the owner with the, the means to achieve whatever he desires. If obtained, I shall use this orb in the name of progressive science for the betterment of the human race. I think you're crazy, Dad. That was not for the betterment of the human race. Turning people into monsters, torturing them. Letter said the rest are gonna be in this room. We might have the key for it. Storage key. Some oil to rejuve. What? 
I have to put oil on a key and make it work. That doesn't make any sense. But okay. Then we got in here. Some more piggies. Some stuff. Some skelly skellies. Uh, a dead person. And another dead person. It's for the betterment of the human race, right guys? Oof. Prisoner escape. I would like to address the recent prisoner escape from the torture cells. How could you let this happen? I don't think I have to remind anyone what would happen if one of our prisoners escaped this surface. What we do down here is our business. The world needn't concern itself with us. Because it's wrong. All they care about is all they care about is the final result anyway. So with that being said, let's all try a little bit harder to make sure no one leaves. Unfortunately, coinciding with the escape, several of our elevator machine parts have gone missing, including a few guiding rods. Very expensive guiding rods. Let's try to avoid this happening again. Y'all. I don't like standing on that, but. Don't want them to escape because it's not right. Torture cells. A fancy torturing cell. Door number one. Oh. Not what I expected. I expected a pig. Today I finished creating the brazen bull for Robert. This is certainly my masterpiece. However, when I opened it to show him, he pushed me inside, locked the hatch, and ignited the fires below. I cooked slowly suffocating for an hour before I died. That sounds horrible. Why am I inside? Ow! What is going on? Ow! I guess I'm supposed to get out of here, ain't I? Um... Do. Oh, that was supposed to happen. But seriously, that's a horrible death. What is this? A drill part. Okay. That was not a fun room. Door number two. There's somebody there. Speak up now. Hello. You say your name is Emma, huh? I don't recall anyone by that name. I bet you're looking for that elevator ride, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I'm not opening this door for anyone, especially with all these weird things going on. Okay. Who are you? This guy won't open up. I bet he has the key in there, too. Here, there'll be a way to compromise the lock. Where there's a will, there's a way! Can I use this? No. Okay. Oh. Torch your cell number two. Being trapped down here offers its perks. I overheard Robert talking about some kind of guiding machine rod that is vital to the function of the elevator. I knew what I had to do. 
When the time was right, I, was, I managed to escape captivity for just long enough to run to the machine room and steal a rod. I have hidden it somewhere down here in the torture area. Somewhere he will least expect. But this is only part of my revenge. I must have patience. Is it in there? I don't want to go in there. Oh my gosh. Never have I seen or experienced something more horrible than the Iron Maiden. Once locked inside, I had virtually no room to move. If I accidentally shuddered or twitched, one of the spikes would impale me. Not deep enough to kill me, of course, but the resulting pain would cause me to inadvertently move again, thus continuing the process till I eventually died of blood loss. That sounds awful. And I'm in here. Yay. I guess I have to wait it out again. Ow. I think I would rather do this than the, the cow one. Burning alive sounds worse. I don't know. Drill part. I bet I'm gonna drill the door to get into that room. Let's see what door number three is. What in the world? What is this? <gasps> Hanging? Oh, that sounds terrible. So they were hung, and I assume they were just sawed while people watched. Gee, I don't know which one would be worse. That'd be pretty bad too. So would the f cow thing. Let's just agree that they're all horrible. Ooh, some legs, some skulls, and some humeruses or something. Dead body. For having mercy on a test subject, Robert punished me by tying me upside down by the feet to the wooden rack. Two of his mindless servants proceeded to saw me in half vertically until the saw caught in my pelvis bone. Because I was upside down, the blood rushed to my head, then it took longer for me to bleed to death. That sounds terrible. Oh gosh. Vertically. Oh jeez. This is terrible! Can I leave them? I don't like this. Alright. Got my drill. Can I put it together? Yep. Let's go say hi to what's his face. Knock knock. Just what the hell are you doing? You come inside. Oh. You look great. Really? Roman or something. Want a chair? No? Okay. There's the last row, I think. Robert's personal diary, entry 3. It has been over a month now since my last entry. The orb gives me more power than I could have ever imagined. Why did I ever think to use it for good? I can certainly accomplish anything now. I shall increase my torturing, not for scientific reasons, but because it is so much fun watching people scream and beg. Oh my gosh. I have never come up with a plan involving Emma and her suitor, Neil. She is smart, but she will never expect what I shall do. I must make the preparations. Soon I will become immortal. What? You're insane! 
and disturbing and horrible and psychotic. And you're weird. Goodbye. Found the storage room. Well, I unlocked the storage room. Let me find the last rod in here. Lock is broken, of course. Hello. Key. It's fun throwing things, okay? Oh, wow. I know I'm not crazy. Those damn armor statues, I swear they have a mind of their own. No one believes me. No one believes me. They know, but I know. I swear I'm not mad. Why can't anyone else see it? They move around on their own. <gasps> I guess they moved. It's great and all, but where's this key at? Hey guys. Have you seen a key? Uh, is that a no? Jeez. These people are so rude. Don't know how to answer a simple question. Wow. Where is this key? Oh, hi. Here's the key. Oh, no. Oh, they left. So sad. Whoops. I hear you guys behind me. I know you're there. You're not sneaky at all. It's stuck shut. So oh, rude. I throw something at it. You just want me to turn around. Ow. Goodbye. 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 Come out. Time to play Handy Mandy. We did it! Let's go. We're gonna go up, right? Up? Oh, okay. We going down. Who would have guessed? We made it. I'm gonna leave it here for this episode, guys. We got to fix the elevator. Got to say hi to more statues and find out horrible experiments that my dad apparently did. So, let's see what's down here in the next episode, guys. See you later. Bye!